The first thing that you need to do before you begin is you got to make sure that you have X server application running on your system. And if you're running on a PC, a good tool for that is Xming. So you can download Xming and install it on your Windows box. Or if you're on a Mac like me, you can use Xquartz and you can go ahead and download that package from here. Once the package is downloaded, you can start the installer. You'll be prompted to enter your administrator password here at some point, but that's all you need to do and it will automatically install everything for you so nothing extra special that you need to do and once you have xquartz installed you can go ahead and close here you can just move this package in a trash because you won't need it anymore then you can close this window and once you have this installed the next step will be to connect to your remote machine and make sure that x11 forwarding is enabled so i'm going to ssh into my qmu box so ssh root 192.168.04 and in here, you're going to want to edit your sshd underscore config file. And this file is located in Etsy, ssh, sshd underscore config. So I'm going to go ahead and enter into that file. And here we're going to look for a line that says x11 forwarding. And as you can see, it's right here for me. I'm going to go ahead and uncomment it. And I'm going to change the value here to yes. Now on most systems, this comes enabled by default. So you may not have to do that, but just in case if it's not enabled, this is all you need to do is go ahead, find this line, uncomment and change it to yes. So once you have that done, you can save the file and close it. And then the next step will be to restart your SSH service. So system CTL restart SSH. Oh, I missed an S there. Oh, there you go. And once you have your SSH restarted and try X11 forwarding and see if it's working. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to exit from here and I'm going to SSH back into it again. But this time I'm going to use dash uppercase X parameter and then I'm going to enter my password. And once you're connected back to your server, you should be able to run an application on your server, but a window will open on your local machine and you'll be able to see the graphical application. So for example, what I'm using this for on this server is I'm running a QMU on this server. And instead of using command line and using Versh to manage my virtual machines, I'm using the Vert Manager and I'm using it from my Mac graphically to manage my machine. So for example, if I do Versh list dash dash all here, you're going to see that I'm running two virtual machines and then I'm going to open now the virtual machine manager, which will open the graphical window on my Mac. And you will see that I can have access to these two virtual machines. So if I say vert dash manager and there you go, as you can see, this opened a virtual machine manager window here on my system. And now I can see these two machines on my Mac in a graphic interface and I can control them from here like the way I would do if I was on this server. I'm going to close this window and I'm just going to show you there is one more way you can do this is using the uppercase Y parameter. So if you run it with a dash X like I did the first time, it is safer to run it that way, but sometimes you may experience some issues. And so if you are connecting to a trusted computer and you're on a trusted network, you can go ahead and run it with dash Y and that way all the security restrictions will be dropped and some of the errors that you may see when running it with X will be avoided. So again, it's not recommended to run it with dash Y as less restrictions apply to the connection. But again, if you're experiencing some trouble and if you're on a trusted network, you can do it with the Y. So I'm just going to go ahead and try it like this just to make sure that it's working. And again, I'm going to run vert manager and as you can see it is working and again you can do pretty much the same things that you can do with the other one i've noticed that if i run the virtual machine manager with the dash x parameter not all functions work so that's pretty much it for today this is how you use x11 forwarding to access graphical applications on remote server i hope this video was useful to you if it was please click on the like button if you have any questions or comments please put them in the comment section under the video. Thank you for watching.